A lot of talk over the last few weeks about Kamara. What makes him good? He's he's difficult to tackle. I think that's the big. Obviously, he's good in space, but his ability to break tackles and make guys miss and bounce off guys is is unique. And I think the the thing that I've noticed about him is his ability to use his hand on the ground and keep himself up. I've seen him a couple times do that, and he's a difference maker. He's a really good player. They use him well, but. I think he's really good, and he helps our offense out a lot. I think him and Mark are really good complements of each other, and <clears throat> I think he's taking that offense up a notch with what he's able to do. And he's a special player, and and we got we're gonna have a problem on our hands for the next foreseeable future. He doesn't have a lot of juke moves, right? Uh, he's 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 very smooth, and I don't. It, he's he's smooth, and he makes it look easy. It's effortless for him. It's like he's he's just gliding and always and like you said it's not like he's real like twitchy fast but he just makes guys miss whether it's breaking tackles or I don't he's he's interesting I haven't seen a guy like him in a while and he's he's a really good player. I've seen more and more running backs like that around the league like Alvin Kamara like Christian McCaffrey is that something I just I just think with the these guys are finding these coaches are finding guys like that and. And the good ones are able to use them in good ways, like Christian and and, and Kamara, and um, I think Devontae Freeman's a lot like that—a guy that can run the ball between the tackles, but outside in the backfield in space, they're problems. And those guys, all three of those guys, do that, and um, you know, makes the game fun. What's the biggest difference you see between this team now than the last time you played them earlier in the season? I, I they, they're still dangerous. Anytime you got Drew Brees on your team and Sean Payton calling the plays, it's it's a problem. I think I think Mark's playing really well right now, and when those guys are able to run the ball like they've been doing, it makes them more difficult to cover. And you know, Drew Drew's been able to do his thing like he always has, but I think their ability to run the ball is really was what's helped them this year. What's it like to be? What turned into limiting those explosive plays? The Saints are becoming. Well, I think in the run game, you just got to play gap sound and do your job. In the pass game. Um, you know, it really just comes down to doing your doing your job, doing your responsibility. They're going to make some plays every once in a while, but it's about limiting them and, and, and just playing smart. And I think that's what it comes down to. When those guys in the backfield get the ball, Kamara and, and Mark, you got to get guys around them because those guys break tackles. They're good at that. They're good at making guys miss. And, you know, you always hear the, the cliche of, of get population around the ball. It's true, and we're going to have to do that this week. What are you doing for your sleep this week? Project Life. It's a it's a bone marrow registry. Um, started working with them a few years ago. A guy named Steve Luquire got me um, introduced with them, and and it's a good deal. It's it's a it's a bone marrow registry that is linked with uh, Be the Match. Those two have kind of combined, and like it, it's it's pretty straightforward. You swab your mouth, you get on the bone marrow registry, and and if you get if you get matched, then they can they can use you, and and the ability to donate bone marrow can really really help people out. Can you recover some more? What's the difference in what you're seeing at him now and what you saw week three? Um, I just think you know, young guys come in. They got you know, there's a little bit of a, a learning curve, and and I think I think from what I've seen and what I've kind of read, I think he's a really smart player and understands football. I met him like literally right over there when he came on his visit, and um, he can do anything. He can line up. He can play wide receiver. He can come in the backfield. He can run the ball. He can he can protect. He can get out on pass routes from the backfield and. He looks comfortable. He, they got a good a good player. It looks like he's been in the league for a long time. Just his the way he kind of carries himself, and he's he's a good player, and it's fun to watch him. We're just gonna have our hands full with him. A different game plan for him versus the game plan for Christian. Oh, they they're they're kind of you know the the same skill set of they can run the ball in between the tackles. They can get on the edge um, in the run game as well, but they're also good out of the backfield. So you just got to know where those guys are, identify them. They're going to do a good job of moving him around and, and, and not let ourselves get, get beads on him. But he's a good player. Mark's a good player. Obviously, Drew and all those guys are really good. So we're going to have fun this week. Look, this is obviously a big game for standings, tiebreakers, everything else. How are you guys kind of handling the magnitude? I just think you got to take it one game at a time. I don't think you can blow games out of proportion. I think everybody understands when you get in the to late November, early December, uh, division games matter that much more and, and games in general matter that much more so I don't you know it's gonna be a big game it's gonna be a good environment down there like it always is and um, you got to take it one game at a time all these games at this point are big. Look how different are you guys as a football team from the first matchup in week three 
You know, I think we've improved in certain areas. I think, you know, we're more used to playing with each other. Um, I think that's a big thing. And, you know, it's just the, as the season progresses, you know, you get closer as a unit, as a group. And I think we've taken some good strides and um, hopefully it'll help us out this week.